about this, Ma? Here, on the counter. Vinny, what happened to your face? Oh, it's nothing. You should see the other guy. Oh, why you do the fighting? Why you no play the golf that you like? It's a rich guy's spot, Ma. Want sights on pro? I'll be able to play golf all the time. Oh. And buy you and Bob anything you want. Vinny, I already got everything I want. I know, I know. Make sure you got enough for us next week. Certo, certo, no problem, gentlemen. I, I sell you all the sugar, all the yeast you need. Hmm? What guys from the Genoma? Uh, non preoccupate. Don't worry about them. They just need ingredients to make the booze. So maybe you shouldn't be selling your homemade wine right now. You don't want them thinking that you're their competition. Competition? There's no competition. Nobody make better wine than I do. Plus, say, we need the money. Yeah, I know, Bob. Hey, this crazy prohibition these politicians make, it's an opportunity for everybody. And why we come to America? Opportunity. Uh, I know. I know. Uh, I know. Me, I'll what I got. So. Mm. All right. I gotta go for a run, okay? Mm. You gotta be in tip top shape for ma. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Andy. <laughs> Mally, my grandma had taught him that. He's done. Jesus, I thought we were supposed to be sparring in here. Sorry, Sergeant. I got carried away. Yeah, take it easy, Jack. O'Malley's jaw swells up. He won't be able to eat any donuts for a week. Now, fuck you, Lander. He's got a good left hand. Looking good, Jack. Looking real good. Thank you. You ready for tomorrow night? Are you kidding? This is my big debut. I just wish it was a sanctioned event. Can't have in Chicago anymore like they do back east, but... Nah, that's okay. My charity event for veterans, what could be better? You're gonna be there, right? Ah. You didn't miss it. <laughs> so, well, look, I gotta get in the shower. I gotta get out of the store and see my pop. <laughs> Sorry again, Sergeant. Yeah, yeah. He hits like a mule, considering how young he is. Oh, is that your excuse, Bob? Even your hookers don't go down that fast. Yeah, fuck you. <clears throat> and in the other corner, fighting for the Irish, making his big debut, battling Jack McGurn! Hey, boy. Jackie! Well, well, look who's here. Capone. We're far from the south side here. Fight fans go where the fights are, huh? Hey, you don't think he's here to gamble, do you? No. A fine, upstanding citizen like him. No, he's taking another poor orphan boy to his first sporting event. I feel bad. I misjudged him. Mama. Mmm, bread's a little tough. Papa told me to knock the guy's block off. Yep. It even bounced around the canvas a few times. Vinny. <laughs> well, I'm only kidding. 
Mas eu peguei os bichos. Ash, why don't you tell your mama what happened next? Hmm. I know some promoters have to fight tonight. And they said after a few more tune-ups, they're gonna put me on the pro fight card out in Aurora. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> hey. Here's to the next welterweight champion of the world. Salud. 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 Calma. Cosa sta succedendo? You think we're stupid? We know what you're doing. What? Nobody sells liquor on the west side except the Jenner family. This is the only warning you're gonna get. What time you got? Uh, it's a uh, little before 10. Want me to take over? Nah, I don't mind driving. You get used to these Canadian runs after a while. I gotta say, Toriel's fucking right. It's worth the drive, especially compared to that bathtub shit people drink. What is this? You having trouble? No. You are. Buddy, just take a minute. You don't know whose truck this is. Sure I do. It's mine. Look, this is the south side. This is Johnny Torrio's territory. You gotta be crazy. <laughs> well, I've heard that before. Sometimes people even call me Bucks. Fuck. It's Bugs Moran. You're with the O'Banion mob. That's right. Only Mr. O'Banion doesn't just run the north side. Now he runs the south side, west side, all sides. Make sure you tell Torio that. Get up. Uh, tell him we said thanks. We appreciate you doing all the driving. And thanks for the new truck. Tough break, kid. I don't suppose the purse is too big either. The big money goes to the guys at the top of the car. Name's Al, by the way. Jack. No, you're not. Been asking around about you. The name's Vinnie Demore. What's with the name change? Uh, if you've been around a fight game. You know, for some reason, people don't go for Italian boxes. But the Irish, they love them. So I told the police at the gym that my name was Jack McGoin. And they said, welcome, kid. Come on in. Smart. Stupid mix. So, how would you like to make some real money, Jack? How do you mean? My boss, Mr. Torrio. Oh, Johnny Torrio. Mr. Torrio is always looking for smart guys who know how to climb up the ladder. Yeah, well, my pops got enough trouble with the Jenners, that's what it is. The Jenners? The bums. I'll get there someday. I just don't want to get involved with guns and then... Who said anything about guns? With those mitts of yours? We're just looking for a little bit of protection for our drivers. You want to help out your family, don't you? Yeah, of course. So what do you say? Look, if you don't like it, no hard feelings. I tell you, this prohibition is the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah? <laughs> That's funny. My pop says the same thing. What the hell? It's 
Step out of the truck, please. What's in the truck? Groceries. Oh, yeah? The liquid kind? Let's take a look. Come on, guys. Is that really necessary? Shut your mouth, all right? We're gonna have to confiscate this truck. <laughs> the tally just under a hundred thousand dollars this month that's it no that can't be right what about all the booze we've been swiping from capone we've been saving a bundle not having to buy our own trucks it's really none of my business mr o'banion vittorio and capone are still bringing more money than you are it's largely due to their brothels if you're asking me well i didn't but if you ask me i'll tell you this booze is one thing but the Holy Mother would never forgive me for starting cat houses up here. That may be okay for those spaghetti bending pimps, but not for me. As a matter of fact, I'll bet that some of the boys on our payroll chasing wops out of this neighborhood right now. These books are being cooked. You will be too. Cheers. See, what did I tell you? I knew I had it. So, nice work, young man. Thank you, Mr. Tario. Want to taste the cat at its finest? No, thanks. I'm still in training for my fights. An Italian that doesn't drink. OK. So what do you like? You like gambling, you like women, what? I never had no money for gambling. Oh. Women, for that matter. We got a ton of whorehouses on the south side. I treat them. Yeah, but you have to watch out, because you're not going to find one whore in any of those places that this Mama Luke hasn't already fucked and tainted. Hey, you got to test them out. Make sure they know what they're doing. Nah, that's OK. What do you like? You like nightclubs? You like music? You mean like jazz? Sure. Yeah, I love jazz. All right, all right. Al, you have to take this young man to the Four Deuces. It's all my treat. OK, Torio. What? This is Torio's place. Enjoy yourself. Besides, I guess he, some professional ladies could use my company. A fun kid. Thank you, sir. Club soda. I think the lady said that she's not interested. Fuck you. Come on. My hero. Nah, you probably could have handled him yourself. Lulu. Jack. OK, it's Louise. But I'm trying to be a model. I think Lulu sounds sexier. What do you think? Can I buy you a drink, Lulu? No, thanks. I brought my own. Well. You dance?
Thanks for the dance, handsome. I gotta go. Oh, wait, wait. When can I see you again? Oh, honey. Based on this $10 suit, I don't think you can afford me. But good luck with the boxing, slugger. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Sun's gonna be up in a bit, huh? Yeah. I ain't never pulled on that before. Really? Welcome to the club. You know, if you come work for us full time, you can come to the club whenever you want. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. I just can't. Really? OK. OK. Look, if you ever change your mind, it's a whole lot of money to be made, especially for that family of yours. Thanks, Al. Let's go, Al. Sorry, kid. Somebody popped your old man. What? Hey, listen. Yeah, your mother said uh, she's never seen them before. She probably can't identify them. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, there's probably nothing we can do here. What are you talking about? It was the Jenna family. I know it was. Hey, hey, hey look, kid. The Jennas know very important people on this side of town, and you know that. Yeah. Just like all the cops they bought off to look the other way. Shoot your mouth. Okay, guys. Looky, looky, looky what the cat dragged in. Aren't you boys a little far from your precinct? I mean, we're not here to help you find the killers. Because we know you're gonna have a drink with them tonight. Don't you two got something better to do? Got maybe pick up some more bag money? Is that what you call it? about it on the police radio. You steal anything, money? You recognize him? A car, anything? So it's two clowns precincts, so on this, our hands are kind of tied, but... Uh, I understand. You don't hesitate to give us a call, all right, kid? Going to find them in Yes. No. And I can do Someone to see you. Hey, Jack, sit down.
Is that office still staring? Yes. I gotta warn you. Things are starting to heat up. Mike Malo had done a good job at the head of the Sicilian Union. Keeping peace between the families. The problem is, Mike died a couple of days ago from cancer. Right afterwards, Mick started shooting up a driving scene. I'll do whatever you want on one condition. You give me the names of the men who killed my father. for business. Violence is my business. And I fought for every inch I own in this city. I'm no stranger to violence either, Dion. I wanted to meet with you, Johnny. Because I agree. All these killings are getting out of hand. Why don't we stanch the flow of blood running through our streets? There's plenty of customers for both of us. I'll tell you what. This here brewery is more than I need. And we got plenty of others. Why don't you take it off me hands? Violence. Cheers. Cheers. You're not training anymore? I got a new job. And a new suit. So how's the modeling business? I went out to California for a few weeks. Didn't work out. No? No. They don't know what they're doing if they let you get away. Oh, yeah. The first thing I want to do is get rid of all of Banyan's piss water. I'm gonna bring in the best hops, the best malt, all the ingredients we need to make the best goddamn beer in Chicago. And once we get up and running here, we should be making over a million dollars a year, easy. All right, boys, let's take her down. Get over there. What the hell is this? All right, nobody move, FBI. This is a bust. Who the hell are you? You got a warrant? Yes. I'm telling you, you're wasting your time. This is just a waste of your time. O'Banion set me up, all right? Whatever he's paying you, I'll double it. See? 
I'm a man of my word. No more violence. Why waste bullets on ignorant grease bars when you could just have them arrested? <laughs> like taking candy from a baby. Or liquor from a wop. <laughs> and you know, now with Torio gone, I'm gonna make sure the next head of the Sicilian Union is one of our own. You know, there's another good thing about Mike Marlowe dying. Yeah? What's that? What does everyone do when there's a funeral? They buy flowers. Don't worry, I wouldn't turn you in. I've been in enough trouble with the law as it is. Oh yeah? Yeah, I accidentally killed a guy once. Got loaded, took out my old man's car, went for a joyride, hit another guy's car. Why aren't you in jail? Daddy's got money, need the right judge to give it to. Jeez. Guess I'll be doing the driving from now on. Oh, yeah? Are you taking me places? Anywhere you want to go. Fucking rat. That Irish fucking rat. Sells Torrio's brewery and then runs and tells the feds? And then tries to put Angelina Gino at the head of the Sicilian family? He's a fucking dead man! You fucking hear me? Boss, don't you think we should wait till Torrio? What are you interrupting me for? Huh? There's a lot of people buying flowers for Mike Murdoch's funeral. You two know what to do. Jack, you're driving it. Go! Keep the motor running. Hello, Dion. Ah, you're here for Mike's funeral, I take it. There you are. Among other things, you dirty Mick. No! <laughs> All right, come on, Jackie, let's move, let's move. Go, go, go. Johnny Torrio, I am sentencing you to nine months in the Lake County Jail. Requesting my client 48 hours for his fares in order. Granted. So you're saying you have no idea who did this? Boys, we're trying to help you out here. We're trying to give you a break. We know this wasn't a robbery. You know how this city got its name? The Indians. When they came here, there's nothing except for swamp, cabbage weeds. They called it Chicago, which means bad smell. See, no matter how hard you boys try to clean it up, this place will always be rotten. Well, we're gonna keep trying. So, uh, if you can think of anything, you just give us a call. Here's our card. All right, there you go. Those motherfuckers. Those 
is greasy. What motherfuckers! Right here, in his own shop! They kill a man while he's selling flowers for Mike Merlot's funeral. What are their kind? As your mayor, I vow and I will put an end to these criminal gangs who have been taking over our fair Great. city. This is exactly I will what shut we down need. these speakeasies and gambling parlors and brothels. And I will put an end I hate this neighborhood, John. I promise we would move. You will? I want a bigger house when we get out. Look, it's only nine months, all right? I'll be back before you know it. I want to go back to the old country. We'll talk about that later. I don't know how, but he survived. He's resting in his bed. I want to talk to him. All right. Johnny? says you're gonna be fine. In a couple of weeks when you get out, I'm gonna go track those Irish fucks down. No? No. Oh. Come here. Come here. What did he whisper to you? He just made me the boss of the whole South Side. So, looks like I'm gonna need a first lieutenant. How about it, Jackie? And then you need help. Chicago's gangland violence continues to soar. Since the first of this year, there's been 27 gangland killings. And not one conviction. Any witness come forward be number 28, that's why. Now, this bloody rivalry has gotten to the point where someone's going to talk. Sooner or later, someone will talk. You want to stop the killings? You got in prohibition. Now, that's up to Congress, isn't it? But in the meantime, we'll enforce the laws that are on the books. Okay, boys, get to it. I 
Mystery Spocks for wondering why I brought you down here. Who wants to take it for a whirl? The Pony Inn. Bud Moran's good pals, the O'Donnells. Phones work. Christ, my boys were entertaining the state's attorney tonight. He's dead. Well, if let's be honest now, I don't imagine Capone's gang's gonna stop, and they'll be coming for your clubs next. Oh, hell no. I'm not gonna let that happen. Ooh. If Capone wants to play with the big toys, We'll just have to join in on the fun. Grab some of this before I finish it all. Daddy, I should come and join me. Last night. Before I used to get in the room, I used to say, I'm gonna murder that bum. I didn't really mean it. It was just a saying, you know? Sure. And then you actually, and you go and you do it. Hey. Hey. These guys are coming after you. You gotta defend yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. I better know it will make you feel better. Yeah, well, I gotta get to the meeting with Al. Well, then, you can do something to make me feel better. Oh, yeah? What's that? Get him to make me a dancer at the Four Deuces. A dancer? Yeah. You know how good I dance. I don't want you being no dancer. No. I thought you liked the way I dance. Yeah. I like the way you dance. I don't want you dancing for no other guys, though. No. Okay, I, I need to get to the meeting.
I swear to God, that son of a bitch, he cost me $10, Al. I could have cut his freaking throat. Why didn't you? Guy's fucking my sister. What am I gonna do, huh? Break her heart. I mean, shit. I fucked her a time or two myself. Let me hey, watch it. What the fuck? It's my sister you're talking about. Yeah, she's a nice piece of ass. You better watch your freaking mouth. It's nice of you to stop by. My apologies, Al. How's uh getting a blowjob from your lady? <laughs> it's the only excuse I accept. <laughs> After our little outing last night, the cops raided our casinos. I guess we hit a nerve. Everybody down! <laughs> Throw in. I threw in. You're the one that didn't throw in. I threw in. Bones, stop boot dropping me, all right? I know you're a little routine yeah, that you're doing over here. Bullshit. All right? Your eyes on your guard. I got my folks. Right. What do you got? Looking good, ladies. Take a walk. I want to talk to Jack. a chance to thank you for the restaurant. There's no need. Yeah. Yeah, there is. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here right now. So, I wanted to repay the favor. What's this? I'm a man of my word. Sorry it took me so long. About that late trip here, best gone. It's the three men that killed your father, Jackie. Kid. <laughs> nope. Nickel and dime in each of their hands. Death by machine gun fire. So same MO. And they all work for the Jenners. Yep. Our lucky day. I 
told my client he was under no obligation to move here before he's... Fred, I heard you had some questions for me. So I thought it was my civic duty to pop in. Oh, wasn't that nice of you? Let me ask you something. Um, Raziotropia, Vito Bascione, is that right? Ecola Baldelli. You know those pie sounds? By any chance? Yeah, because they were all machine gunned down here last week. Hmm. That's tragic. So you're denying any responsibility? Absolutely. I didn't shoot those men. Bugs Moran's right hand man, Jaime Weiss. He was machine gunned down too, right outside the Holy Name Cathedral, no less. That's terrible. But I run a used furniture business. I don't know about such things. OK. I do, from time to time, provide liquid refreshments. But you guys should know this. I see a lot of you in my clubs. Providing alcoholic beverages is against the law of the land, Mr. Capone. And tell people to stop drinking. The United States Congress put that law on the books to promote the health and welfare of the American people. Come on. You expect people to believe that? That what, Congress jumped because a bunch of Teton and church ladies told them to? It was Rockefeller and his oil boys. Cause made to run on gas or alcohol. Rockefeller wanted to corner the market. So, you bribe Congress to put a halt in production of alcohol. Criminal. Look here, you smelly, greasy wop. I don't care how you justify what you do. I don't care the scum in this city that you got on your payroll. This is my city you're in. And there are dead bodies on my streets. That's a problem. What are you going to do about it, tough guy? Since there are no charges, I believe uh, this is his done. Good work, fellas. Keep it up, huh? They can't take the truth about this country, then fuck them. Jack. Guys? Yeah, hang out with a goon like a pony for Jack. Ah, oh, you know, it's nothing. Some part-time work, driving trucks, whatever. Oh. But that's not what people are saying. Yeah, well, you know what they say about rumors. You can't trust them. I wasn't done talking, Jack. Someone should listen to me. Capone is low-life scum. You understand that? You want to pal around with the guineas and the wops, one or two things are going to happen. You're going to be in prison. Or you're going to end up like your old man. Want to do that to you more? That's not what your pop would have wanted. Come on, tell us what we need to know. Let us help you, Jack. Like I said, guys, it's just rumors. Phone, what are you doing coming out of police headquarters today? Oh, me and the boy? We're just talking about interior design. God damn it. <sighs> Try spreading your feet a little feather that pot. Trust me. Not bad at all. I've been meaning to speak to you about something, Jack. Can't just rely on speakeasies and hall houses anymore. I want to expand into the unions, pick up the pension funds. Also, I want you to stop by the hotels and the smoke shops, convince them to install slot machines. What, like in Atlantic City? Exactly. This way, instead of waiting on them to come to us, we'll bring the action to them. You know, I'll 
That's something I've been meaning to ask you about. What's that, Jackie? No offense, but how'd you get the scars on your face? Years ago, when I was bouncing in Brooklyn, I saw this broad over by the tables. So I walked up to her, polite like. And I said to her, you got a nice ass. Out of nowhere, this guy jumped up from the bar and took out a knife. Cut the hell out of me. Boyfriend? No, brother. The doctors did what they could. But you know what? I think it gives me character. Yeah, sure. So what did you do? Did you go back and whack the guy? No, I hired him. You can always use a good knife guy, right? Don't make a move. You didn't have your feet spread far enough apart. You want to go again? No, I don't need no ball. You know, the last couple of years, our organization here has been suffering. And I don't just mean financially. Yeah. No kidding. I can't tell you how many men, good men, that behemoth has had killed. My own brothers killed in the street like fucking dogs. And Frankie, yeah. Capone had him shot down in New York just last week. Yeah, you know why? Because of me. Because Frankie backed me to run the Sicilian Union, so we don't have to use Capone's man, uh, Tony Lombardo, that fat prick. I think we're all in agreement here. We've had a long-standing problem, and it needs to be fixed. Frank, Pete, I'm offering you $50,000 to kill Capone. But first, I want you to take out his machine gunner, Jack McGurn. Do him for free. Lulu! Lulu, I love you! You're the bee's knees. You've always been my bee's knees. Lulu. Lulu. Come here, Lulu. Lulu, I love you. I love you. Lulu, Lulu, just... Lulu, Lulu, I love you. Psst. Lulu! Lulu. Marry me, Lulu, 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 look, look! can't just come in here and take out every guy that looks at me twice. Now, you see here, I agreed to let you dance, but I never agreed to that. Now, you listen to me, slugger. I don't need your permission for anything. Hell, I don't need any man's permission. myself this far. Baby. Baby, I'm sorry. I got carried away. Okay, I wasn't thinking. I 
I just came here to pick you up and take you home, that's all. Why don't we get out of here? I've got a better idea. Why don't you get out of here? All in all, we got six different businesses ready to go. That's my boy, Jack. Listen, now. If the machines are ready, I can deliver them tomorrow. No, nah, no, nah, then sell me and Scully's big number. Just want you to focus on getting more locations. All right, I'm on it. Just be sure it's it. so scared. <sighs> I never lost faith, Jack. I knew you was a fighter. I guess it's that boxing mentality, huh? And don't worry about the bill. I got that covered. You just get rested. When you're better, you come see me. I'll take care of business. thinking going out and getting yourself shot up like that. And don't think you're off the hook for the other night either, mister. I'm worried about you. Don't worry about me. I'll be okay. Just promise me when you're all healed up, we'll go away somewhere. He's alive! The girl just walked out of the hospital. The fuck did I tell you? What were you supposed to do? Impossible. We filled the guy full of holes. No, you didn't! That's how you shoot something full of holes. I heard Capone is in Palm Beach. Yeah. Well, you better hope to God that he stays there. Clean this shit up! All the cater is set for next week? Yeah. Floor is too. Should be quite the shindig. Good. It better be. Listen, the DA is no different in Florida than it is in Chicago. You want to do business? You got to do a little wine and dining. Look who finally decided to show up. Oh, oh my god, it's like a movie set. <laughs> Even better, sweetheart. It's not make believe. What are you doing, Jackie? Uh, still a little sore. I'll be all right, though. Luis, where you go join Rio in the back? He'll make you a mimosa. A what? A mimosa. Champagne with fresh Florida orange juice in it. Oh, my God. I think I can get used to this. I appreciate you taking care of things. 
Don't mention it. I gotta talk to you about something. Come on. Sit down, Jack. Go into the flower shop and start blasting. I know. I just want to get your blessing before I go back. What's your play? Hey, Bernstein. You still running truckloads of whiskey? That old bastard? He's selling hooch to me, Iran, everyone his fucking mother. And he still owes you for operating without interference, right? Go on. Here's how we do this. Yeah. Hey, Bernstein, you old kike. You still alive? <laughs> I'll dance on your grave, you Irish potato eater. <laughs> What's on your mind, Abe? Well, you may have heard, but our old friend, uh, Mr. Brown, is down in Miami. Well, with him gone, some of his boys got a little careless. And one of my guys pinched one of his trucks. The good stuff, Canadian whiskey. I can let you have it for 50 bucks a case. Yeah, well, like I always say, any liquor of that fat beast is liquor of mine. When can you deliver it? How's tomorrow morning? Perfect. You know where my warehouse is? 2120 North Clark. Have him drop it off at 10 AM. I'll be there. Mazel at Abroja. How's that? Couldn't have been better. Give my regards to Al. Right on time. This is for Abe. Thanks. I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat. I'll be back when you're done unloading. You want to give me a hand with these? Fuck that, Frankie. We're on time. The other guys are late. Let them unload it. Ah, uh, what the hell is this? You got me, boss. Maybe an accident. Well, cut down one of the side streets. We're late for this shipment as it is. Go on, go around. Come on. Is that Moran? Can't see his face real good. I mean, but yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah. We're on our way. Let's go. So, what do we got? You got 50 cases. About a dozen bottles per case. Once you water it down, you guys are about 50 grand. Considering we paid Abe a fourth of that, not too bad. Who said the Jews were good with money? <laughs> Brought her home, he'll slap her around a little bit. She likes that. Yeah. She's in All right, everybody. Grab a piece of that wall. What? You heard him. Move. You boys knew the force. You don't know how this we works. We know how this works. Hit the wall. If you're looking for a payoff, we already paid up this month. But I'll tell you what. We'll let each of you grab a bottle on the Shut way out. Shut your mouth and face the wall.
conceal weapons? Our lawyers will get that beat with one phone call. You think we should give you a phone call? That's funny. You never let me finish mine. Where's Moran? Where the fuck is Moran? They said he was here. Coppers. What the hell do they want? A bust? Ah, uh, probably just looking for a bailiff. Oh, Gurn. What the hell is he doing here? We gotta go. Boss, we gotta go. You want us to go out from the gurn? No. I'm just trying. You know, up till now, People of Chicago have looked on these gangland killings almost like entertainment. A little radio drama in the morning they can listen to over their cornflakes. But this is sick. I think this might actually be a good thing for us. Good. How? One of the dead men was just a mechanic. Another was an optician who just liked to pal around with tough guys. If men like these can be lined up and gunned down, then your average person is going to feel no one is safe. The public's finally going to demand that these men be taken down. But how does that help us do our job? We can never get witnesses to come forward. We can't make arrests stick. Which is why Mr. Hoover has decided to go after Capone on tax fraud. Doesn't matter what the charges are when half the damn cops in the city are on Capone's payroll. Our bureau is going to drag Mr. Capone into court on federal charges, Detective. In the meantime, I suggest you and your men round up the rest of these criminals on whatever charges you can think of. Now, if you gentlemen don't mind, we'd like some privacy. was kissing that G-man's ass. I mean, it was like, get back. You know what? You can play the fool with everybody else, but your bullshit doesn't fly with me. Where's McGurn? Could you fuck me? Maybe, Maybe I'm not noticed. I'm not part of your little boys club. I don't play by those rules. <clears throat> All those fake codes. I'm gonna ask you one more time to turn to me. Once. Where's McGurn? Chicago's so cold in the winter. When are we gonna go to Florida again? I already told you. I'll give Al a call. We'll see what happens. <sighs> Who's that? I ordered room service. Again? You got a hollow leg? Ha ha. Taking you in, kid. What for? You're under arrest for suspicion of murder of Valentine's Day Massacre. 
He was here with me the whole time. All right, you tell that to the judge, sweetheart. We're going to bring you in as well. What's the charge? Taking a woman across state lines for immoral purposes. Is that good enough? You both conspired to violate the Mann Act. You fucked up, Jack. You fucked up. Take a seat, Jay. She wrapped me out, Jack. What kind of question is that? It's a pretty fucking good question. After everything I've done for you, you're gonna ask me that question. Who brought you up, Jack? You may have started me, but I earned my way up. Yeah, but I can fucking take it away from you, can't I? The word is that the cops and the feds, they're pretty embarrassed by your court appearance today. And they're gonna keep coming after you any way they can. So until things blow over, I need to ask you a favor. Yeah, what's that? I need you to lay low. Need you to move out to the suburbs. Be in charge of collecting. Oh, come on. You want me to be a bag man in the burbs? It's just for a little while. It's a death sentence. Al, we need you out here, it's important. Yeah, I'm coming. Listen, Jack. Thanks for understanding. You'll be back here in no time. Alphonse Capone, you have been found guilty of violation of federal tax law for the years 1925 through 1929. You will be confined to a federal penitentiary what? for not less than 10 years. You can't do this. Who the fuck do you think you are? Please escort Mr. Capone you know out am? of the courtroom. Do you fucking know who I am? I'm fucking El Capone. You fucking better remember me. You didn't like your Valentine's dinner I made? Oh, uh, yeah, baby. It was great. I was just thinking back when I was a kid. I was thinking about who I used to be. Just a kid who wanted to box, make some prize money, take care of my family. I just can't help but wonder. 
if the gems had just left my pop alone. I don't know who I'm supposed to be anymore. Al's gone. Frank Nitty's running the south side. He don't want nothing to do with the old gang. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'll tell you what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to sit there, looking at me, and be happy. Did you forget, mister, walking into that dressing room seven years ago and giving me this? How could I forget? It's the smartest thing I ever did. Wow. I actually think of today as our anniversary and not the day we actually got married. And I think we should celebrate. You're right. <laughs> I'll go get us some champagne. Good. Take a little walk, see if I can get out of this funk, huh? You. for the tournament. hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. Yeah, you can buy a girl a lot of candy and flowers for that. I actually gotta go pick up some champagne. Celebrating, huh? Hey, uh, you remember February 14th from a few years ago, right? Nah, I can barely remember what I was doing yesterday. <laughs> Maybe this will help remind you.